Hey everyone, Mr. Evil Chief here. Um, we were playing some Dark Souls today, um, and it was just constant problems. Oh man, how we're doing really bad. Dying a lot, and then half my footage decided to get deleted, and then when I recorded some more, then my voice recordings got deleted, so... Hence I'm having to do this afterwards. Yay! So easy. Oh my days. Anyway, um, pretty much throughout this episode I was trying to beat this boss, Mitha. And I absolutely despise this boss. Flipping hate it. I think it's just one of the worst bosses in the game. But it's just because I cannot fight her for cheese. So you're going to see me dying a lot. <laughs> to her. And I'm pretty gutted I lost the um, my, my voice recording because I was getting quite angry and some colourful language was coming out. And it, it was pretty funny when, <laughs> when I think back to it. But anyway, obviously with it with it being gone, I'll uh, just let you watch it and I'll just pipe up every now and again. later no god no god please no 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 so right here i decided i was going to go get the um, the soul vessel and he's back Six hours later. Right, so I made it to the uh, the old wenches, and uh, I thought, yeah, you know, this is time. I'm gonna I'm gonna crack some um, a dark magic build out. So a dark magic build just cracks some intelligence and faith on. And uh, while I was doing that, I completely forgot that I needed attunement to um, to equip magic. So here I am, happy as Larry, just smashing my skills up. Completely forgot about attunement. Realised about five minutes later. What a fucking now. idiot. Go along. Three weeks later. After the grim realisation that I uh, had no more souls to get any more attunement slots, I think I got one attunement slot, and obviously for resident soul and great resident soul you need two. I had also used all my boss souls up, so I had no more, no more way to get any souls without obviously grinding through bosses, I thought. Stuff it. I'll go take down Ornstein because he's he's a pretty easy boss to do. I smashed him in the first time I played. So I thought, yeah, you know, this will be all right. Obviously, because I'd respect and I'd put everything intelligence and faith and dexterity. Didn't really put up for very much, <laughs> so I did barely any damage. And 
Well, yeah, you'll see. You'll see how, how I get myself raped. Oh, God. few inches later So here I was back again for preparing for the final battle against Mithra again as soon as I'd now managed to get myself. I'd, I'd got, um, no not at this point, I didn't have two attunement slots, I was still on the one but I'd bought myself Dark Orb so obviously I could do some attacks and I bought it hoping it was going to do a bit more damage than it did because I basically dicked around for two hours respecking and getting souls to get flipping hexes and I'm doing the same damage as what I was doing before. Probably a bit less. So when I got to this this point and I realised the damage I was doing, I felt like crying a little bit. But I powered on anyway and did my utmost to to become become victorious in all.
So there you go. I finally, finally beat my, my worst enemy. Finally won. After many hours dicking around and I made it to the Iron Keep. So this is where this episode ends. Thank you very much for, for bearing with me and watching. Uh, please drop me a comment, let me know what you think. A like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye guys.